Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. In today's video, guys, uh, we're working here on the Fiesta MK7, guys. That's a generation from 2008 to 2017, guys. So, what we're doing today, we'll be replacing rear door speaker, guys. Okay. Whether it's a Dan hatchback, it's, uh, it should be the same procedure. Uh, we'll demonstrate on the rear right side, rear left is the same. Uh, check out the playlist guys, because we we'll have probably close to 200 videos. If you need anything, let us know. Okay guys, so what we will need to do, okay, those are the tools that we'll be using. Panel removal tools, screwdrivers. We really like those because they come with everything we need for those jobs. And we'll have the links for all the parts, okay, and tools that we use in the description of the video guys. So, we're trying to save you some time, okay. So now we'll need to remove, okay, that cap. Okay, we need to open that cap and, okay, you can see, we pulled it out. Okay, it has three, three teeth, so uh, you have to be careful how you install that one later. Okay, we're going to get a Phillips screwdriver, okay, and we will remove, okay, that screw now. Okay, almost out. Okay, perfect. Now, we have a few more things to do. We will need a Torx 25, this is the star looking bit, okay, and longer screwdriver, okay, like that. Okay, right here there is two more, okay, let me get some light here. So you see that there is two more screws and those are different than the one that we already removed. Okay, one is out, one more to go. Okay, second one is almost out now. Okay, perfect. Next we need to get a trim removal too, and right here we need to pry that cap out of here. Okay, let me show you where the clip is on the bottom side. Okay, that's where it goes. Then, stay with us once we remove the door panel, I'm going to show you where all the clips are, so you don't damage your door panel. Okay, and if you get usually your fingers underneath, you can pull it, but it might be really, really tight, guys, because it, it really depends if it's been removed before or not. So, we're going to go again. Okay, you can see it started popping. Okay, now right here on top, we need to be careful. There is uh, usually one more clip, I believe. Okay, perfect. Now we need to disconnect the cable. Let me show you how that happens and I'm going to demonstrate what happened with some of the clips. So this cable now, okay, let me get some light on. Okay, this piece right here, okay, you need to, okay, push it towards the back. Okay, on both sides. Okay, and you pull it out. When you're ready to install it, okay, all you have to do Okay, bring the panel close to the thing, okay, go in an angle like that, okay, the panel is still a little bit short because the cable is short, I'm trying to get the camera in there, and next, you will just, okay, need to click it like that, and it's stuck, and when you need to remove it, just press the thing, pull it out. Now, we have the wires for the switch, guys, that's for the window switch. And let's twist it so we can show you how to do that now. Okay, so there is one tube there that you need to push back. I'm going to show you once we pull the cable. Okay, let me show you now. Okay, this one. Okay, right here. It needs to go back and then you pull the wires out. Now we have a problem, guys. Okay, now we have some clips that actually stayed on the door. So we need to go ahead and remove those. Okay, you can see the white clips. Oh, that was the head. Okay, we need to pull those things out, okay, and install them on the panel, otherwise you will not be able to install the door panel later. Okay, one is out, just one more to go. If you need replacement clips, uh, 
we we use some so we'll share the link okay and this one as well you can see it's not all the way in so you need to push it in and those you just go from the bigger hole and you just push it okay just like that okay now let me show you where all the clips are okay on the door panel so you know where to apply pressure okay so this is the front side okay you have three right here and you have four on this side okay guys so uh, now for the speaker you can see we removed the door panel now we can get to the door speaker and now uh, here we need to disconnect the wire by pressing in in the middle and pulling okay the wire out okay this is the door speaker now and we're going to need a torx 25 okay we're using that power screwdriver because it's really easy but you can just use a regular screwdriver again all the tools that we use you can find them in the description of the video and we've done product reviews for most of them nothing sponsored here everything purchased by us Okay, hold the speaker now because after the third screw it's going to get loose and you don't want to drop it. Okay, and this is guys, okay, the speaker and this is uh, the rear door speaker, so that's how you guys remove it. Okay guys, so when you're ready to install the new speaker, okay, you just get it, make sure that the cable is pointing up. It goes, okay, only one way. Make sure that you don't have any of the screws attached to the speaker because it's a strong magnet on the back. So uh, if you're missing a screw, it's probably on the back of the speaker. Okay, and just get it tight now. Okay, you can see the same screws. Okay, that's actually a good design because on that Mercedes right there, that's the newer C-Class. You have to use rivets, which is a little bit more work and not so easy. Okay, plug the wire in, install the door panel and that's the whole procedure guys. Thank you for watching, please give us a like and see you next time.